Buongiorno everyone, how are you doing today? Today I'm gonna tell you a story, a story that mixes history, religion and romanticism. So where am I? I am on the Milvian Bridge, Ponte Milvio. And are you curious to know what's the story of this bridge? Watch until the end to find out. So first of all, where are we? We are not in the very heart of the city, we are a little bit further up to the north. We are in the north of Rome and what you see in there, that it's a hill that is called Monte Mario, Mount Mario, one of the highest hills of Rome. And what you see in here is obviously the Tiber River. You have to imagine the Olympic Stadium is more or less that direction. So we are in the very north of Rome and this is the bridge, Ponte Milvio, the Milvian Bridge, which you recognize also through this tower that is on one side of the bridge. So I was telling you, this bridge history mixes religion, history and romanticism, but let's start in order. History, why? Because in the year 312 AD, we have to imagine that there was a, a fight between two people that claimed the legitimacy of their empire, Massentius and Constantine. As you may imagine, those two did not make an agreement in the end, but they ended up in a battle, the Battle of the Milvian Bridge. This is the very bridge where that battle took place. But you also need to know that the night before the battle, Constantine had a vision, he had a dream. And this dream he saw a cross with some words that said, in hoc signo vinces, which means in this sign you will win. That was the cross of God, the cross of Christianism. So Constantine decided to mark every single shield of his army with a cross on it. In the end, he won the battle. So he dedicated this victory to Christianism, to God, and guess what? He's the first Roman emperor, because he became an emperor after that. He's the first Roman emperor that converted himself to Christianism. And he's the first Roman emperor that stopped the persecutions to Christians, and the first emperor that built the first churches of Rome. In fact, if you think of St. Peter in the Vatican, St. John in Lateran and so many other churches, super famous churches of Rome, they were all built by Constantine, the one, the battle of the Milvian Bridge right here. And that is quite impressive, isn't it? But you will never imagine that for most of the Romans, when you tell Ponte Milvio, the first thing that comes to our mind sometimes is not uh, the battle of the Milvian Bridge with Constantine, Massentius, the Gross and so on. It's something else, something very different and something much more recent. Let's have a look. So when you are in the bridge, you see you have those lamps on either side. Look for the central lamp of one of the sides and get closer. You will notice something that I'm really sure you're very familiar with because it's something that became super, super viral, viral some years ago. The love locks on the bridge. And this is where the romantic part of the story comes in. Here we have the love locks love messages written all over this is the bridge of love in rome now i'm sure you've seen this tradition throughout europe throughout the world but this is one of the places where in rome this tradition became super viral and it's only thanks to a book that also became a movie a few years later of voya Vite. so the tradition wants that the lovers they come in here they write their names on the lock, they close the lock and they throw the key into the river and that marks an eternal love that will last forever, in theory. <laughs> so after the book and the movie came out, this tradition of the love locks in Rome became so viral that it went out of control just a little bit. In fact, this old light, this lamp was entirely covered with love locks as well as the whole bridge. It was crazy. So at some point the Council of Rome had to do something and they basically removed all of those love locks because they were damaging the stability of the bridge. Uh, it was too much weight for the bridge to support and for the lamp as well, so they decided to remove everything. After all that, today it's forbidden to place love locks in many places around Rome, Italy and the world. Now, there is one solution though, if you still want to feel that romantic vibe of putting a love lock and marking your love forever, for the eternity, there is another way to do so. In fact, now that putting a love lock is not as easy as before, a group of creative romance, and one of them happens to be my boyfriend, so I wonder who he took inspiration from. <laughs> 
they created crypto love locks and believe me these are love locks that no, no one can ever touch or remove from anywhere they are forever eternal now what is a crypto love lock i know you never heard of this it's something super new so this is a special preview of this so basically it's a love lock that it's also an nft which means non-fungible token it's basically something that you put on the blockchain technology sounds very complicated in a few words no one will ever touch it and it stays there forever it's eternal so basically you go on cryptolovelocks.com and this is what you get a super cute love lock in the shape of a heart but if you zoom in you need to zoom in like as if you're zooming on uh, google maps you will see that this love lock is made of over 10,000 small love locks and each one of them is different from the other like not two of those are the same so it's it's also fun to just go over on this website and browse all of them so some of them are super fun and uh, and yeah and then when you if you want to purchase one uh, you can click on this button and then uh, here you have all the instruction how to make the purchase right now they are giving a launch uh, giveaway uh, 50 love uh, locks uh, are giving away for free so if you want to join now that's a good time to do so and uh, and yeah and here you have the FAQ the frequently asked questions uh, if you want if you have any questions now I'm going to show you uh, the one I got. Um, I also I learned by heart the position. Uh, what is it? This is uh, this is mine. I, I was actually the very first person to purchase this. Um, I'm so proud of my love locks. Look at this with the stars in their eyes and the earrings. Anyhow, I'm so proud of my love lock. I think it's the most beautiful of the whole collection. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed today's stories. Today was a little bit of a mix of ancient, modern, technology, wars. <laughs> it was a little bit of a unique mix. And if you have any more questions about uh, the story that I was telling you, the crypto love locks and how to get them, bear in mind, you can ask me at any time, but bear in mind they are limited quantity. There are only 10,000 love locks, which sounds a lot but it's not i guarantee you and it's something that's so unique that only you can have so don't miss this chance so everyone i wish you a very beautiful day ciao